What's up guys, Matt here. In this video, we're going over four books, economy submissions that were sent in 15 months ago after being pressed. I just got them back. Let's go through them. Stay tuned. All right, so these books, there are four books here. These were submitted um, through the economy submission at CGC. Uh, they just got back to me. It took 15 months to get these books back. That should kind of give you a little bit of an idea. But nonetheless, I'm happy to have them back, and I wanted to go through these with you guys. Also, what's interesting is in 15 months when they were submitted, how things have changed, pricing, and everything else. So I want to take a look at that, and we'll talk a little bit also about some of the graders' notes and all. These are not really high-end as far as the condition of the books, but nonetheless, these are going to be key books that um, I'm really, really thrilled to finally see back after this long. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first one up is Hero for Hire, number one. This is 1972 Marvel. This is the first appearance and origin of Luke Cage. Let me bump this up a little bit more so you can see. Um, this is also, I believe, the first appearance of Diamondback. This was a uh, lower, or I shouldn't say really lower, I would say mid-grade book here. Um that I purchased, just to give you an idea, I purchased this last year in October for 140 bucks raw and had it pressed and submitted. And let's see how we did. We got a 6.5 with off-white to white pages. Really cool book for Luke Cage. It obviously notes it on the label as well, and you can see, um, let me tell you what the graders notes are for this one because I obviously did have an opportunity to check these out. So this one has um, spine stress lines to br which break color, light creasing to color. And you can see obviously that they do have uh, some stress lines on there. There we go. Um, some creasing to cover, uh, light wear to cover, and a small tear left center of back cover. And what I think they're referring to, let me see, is over here, there's a little, I guess, uh, it might be a slice or something of that nature. But nonetheless, um, really, really cool book. I'm really thrilled to have this in the collection and have it back, especially with the talks now and seeing uh, Daredevil coming in. We now expect Luke Cage to make his appearance as well from the Netflix series. So Hero for Hire, number one. All right, next one up. This is another cool book. Avengers, number 57. Again, these are this one is a lower condition book. By all means, you can see that. Hopefully, you can see that. I mean, this book has had really better days. But nonetheless, I was able to snag a copy, which to me sometimes mean more than just getting the top, top condition. So... This particular one is from 1968. This is a Roy Thomas one uh, story. This is the uh, first appearance of the Silver Age Vision. Obviously, you know, uh, Vision has, has uh, you know, amounted to a bigger character than what I think most people originally expected from him uh, in, uh, in the Marvel Universe. We're going to see the White Vision, I think, now come back. And some more things going on with that. So I think Vision is obviously not done yet. We've got more to see of him. And so I submitted this book. Obviously, it was 15 months ago. Let me tell you what I paid for it. And then we'll go over the grade. I bought this raw October last year for $100. And pressed and graded. It came back as a 2.5 with off-white pages. So, you know, lower end copy by all stretch of the imagination. But nonetheless, 
still very, very cool to have. And you can kind of see this book has had better days to it. Look at that spine. That spine is really rough. But nonetheless, a blue label, complete copy. This one, the greater notes are heavy tears to cover, which you can obviously see. Um, heavy wear to cover. There's no brainer here on all on both sides. Moderate creasing to cover and very small multiple tape poles uh, on the uh, on the cover and also I mean I think the graders notes are pretty much uh, right on point with this one. You're not gonna gonna be able to argue that on this kind of level. But super cool book to have. I'm really have happy to to get a copy back and Avengers 57. All right. Two down, two more to go. Ultron. So, and then we'll get to the final one. You're going to see it as I move this, but we'll save that one for last. But here we go. Avengers 55. Uh, this is another awesome, awesome book. This is the first appearance of Ultron. Uh, you know, this book actually wasn't a bad copy um, when I purchased this, I actually thought it was a little bit higher than what it actually came in. And we'll talk about that in a minute. But again, 1968, another Roy Thomas one um, with Ultron, you know, in the um, in the, like the Marvel zombies and all of the animated series that they did. Uh, you know, I think that they could still breathe light into this character. Um, hopefully we're going to see some more of him. Uh, that would be really nice. Uh, just to give you an idea, I purchased this one as well in October of last year. I paid 130 bucks for the copy because I thought it was a nicer copy. And here is what it ended up as. 6.5 off-white to white pages. Let's see if you can see that here. Um, still nice. Uh, copy one. The graders notes that came back was and and this is a, I can tell you what the, the I'll, I'll save the one for last but it has light wear to cover I don't disagree with that a very small tear crease um, right center of front cover which breaks color and they're talking about right that there and then what really um, caught me I guess off guard was the large light stain to right top of front cover and this kind of shows you guys how careful you have to be and I don't know if you'll see that but there is a staining you can kind of see it in the leg on the green but there is a stain right in there very very light to see and that ain't coming out too easily so um, nonetheless six five on this we'll go over what they're currently worth and all but I wanted to kind of be transparent tell you what I paid for it so we can kind of discuss that after so and that is Avengers 55 all right, last one up. I don't care what grade this came back in. I was just thrilled to get this book and get a copy. We've got Avengers number eight. This is the first appearance of Kang. This book, when I had purchased it last year, was starting to go crazy um, with Kang the Conqueror, you know, rumored to be coming out and coming into the MCU. This book just went nuts with Jonathan Majors and everything else. So this was a rough copy, and it is a rough copy. You can kind of just see how this is. And when I there's there's pieces out of this, and I'll show you a little bit better um, shortly when I when I uh, go through it. But um, let's talk about when I got it and what we paid for this particular book. Um, at the time I purchased this book again in October of last year, um, I paid $500 for this copy. Um, and I think that was actually a really good deal at the time, um, even though that the condition is is, is pretty rough. Um, I did have it pressed 15 months later. We are now talking 2.5. 2.5 off white to white pages, first appearance of Kang. Now, let's go through a little bit of the book so you can kind of see what we're looking at. That spine has seen better days, clearly. The bottom is missing from the front cover. And then check out this spine roll. Boom. 
<laughs> so, I mean, and this was pressed and tried to and and uh, done as best we can do to fix it. And you can see, obviously, the staining to to the cover and discoloration and all. I mean, there's only so much you can do um, and you want to do without potentially damaging the book uh, further. We did get a blue label, which is the important thing for me. Uh, let's talk about the um, the Grader's Note. So obviously, 1964, Stan Lee, baby. Stan Lee story, Jack Kirby. You don't get better than that. Um, grades uh, for this one, um, or excuse me, Grader's Note's moderate creasing to cover, uh, moderate spine roll. Yeah, I would say that's a moderate spine roll. Uh, moderate staining to cover. Yeah, we talked about that. There are some stains on here, clearly. A small piece out of the right bottom of front cover. I showed you guys that. And a very small chip um, out of the right top of cover. And you can kind of see that right there, that chipping right there. So, um, you know, took 15 months to get those craters notes, which we kind of already knew. But nonetheless, just a really, really cool book to have. Um, I'm really happy to have this one. Awesome, awesome Silver Age book. So let's talk pricing. You know, we talked about what I paid for it. I purchased this one October of last year for five hundred. Right now, um, I believe if and we're going to go by cover price because that's what I've got kind of available to me. Um, I could check eBay ones, but I'm just kind of telling you guys what cover price is showing. So cover price is saying a two point five in this book right now is about five hundred and fifty two dollars. So. You know, if I were probably to sell this book, and I don't think I'm going to do that right now, but if I were, I'd probably be breaking even after pressing, grading, and what I paid for it. So it's not like, uh, it's not that it's a loss or anything like that. It's just kind of what you would have expected um, now that the market has kind of cooled down and, and, and gotten back to what I think the prices are probably more realistic on. So 552 for a 2.5. Price is wrong, bitch. Going back now to the Ultron book. Um, I told you I paid $130 for this. This book right now is um, cover price is saying $126 for a 6 6.5 one. So technically, I've lost money in this one over time in that 15 months, um, given the pressing, the grading costs, and then obviously the purchase of the book. So, you know, just something to think about when you're looking at that, but that's kind of the way of the world. Let's see that in an instant replay. Next one on that Avengers 57. So, Avengers 57, I think I was, I paid 100 bucks for that. Yes, 100 bucks for that. Right now, uh, 2.5 um, slabbed is going for about $222. So, a little bit more, which is always nice, considering grading fees, pressing fees, you know, and what, and what that is in the time frame. You know, um, it is worth a little bit more graded than it was raw in this particular condition. So, you know, believe it or not, on a 2.5, you make up for that kind of thing. And last but not least, the Hero for Hire, Luke Cage. On this one, I think we did fairly fairly decent given that um, this one came back at a 6.5. Um, I had paid $140 for this, for this one, then add in some grading fees and pressing. This one in a 6.5 currently goes for $423. Show me the money. Uh, as of when we're talking, you know, this is December 11th today when I'm filming this for you guys. So that's it for this video. I wanted to show these off. Very cool. Really happy to have these back. So 15 months. You guys let me know. Do you think it's, you know, it's worth it? I will tell you this. If you're going to send in a book in economy or a value type kind of submission, you better fast track it because right now you can get a modern in like three weeks. These books, you're, you're looking over a year and the market just kind of changes depending on how you are. Even if you're not going to sell them, 
you know, you may not want to have your books out for that long. So let me know your thoughts down below. Um, what do you think? Silver Age, the way to go. Modern, the way to go because of the grading time. Um, you know, what is your thoughts about the lower end books? Two and a half, you know, six five. So nothing, nothing too crazy on this one. We kind of six fives and two and a half throughout. So um, I'm always interested. Guys, if you like the videos and the content, please think about subscribing. You can also leave that thumbs up if you appreciate it and you learn something a little bit. Uh, I always appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for your time, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.